Shah and Pitts here, and tonight is a very big night. We could see Liverpool crowned Premier League winners if Man City lose or draw to Chelsea. Pips, what are you expecting from this fixture? Um, probably another Man City win, if I'm honest. But Chelsea have got quality on there. We've seen that in, the, in their first game as well. Um, it's going to be quite tight, but I still reckon Man City will dominate from what we've seen in the last two games. They've got a clean sheet. They've banged in goals. Chelsea have pulled the squad um, goals as well, but I reckon Chelsea might just knock one pass and that's about it. Oh, I'm lying, actually. Man City's defence is a bit shaky. I think it will be a... I reckon there'll be goals. I think it'll be 3-2 or 3-1 to City. But last night's game, uh, Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. I mean, a fantastic performance from Liverpool. They dominated the game. Every player played well. Um, Crystal Palace, they did start with confidence, but they also saw Wilfred Zaha go off quite early. Do you think that impacted the game? Well, it didn't make much of an impact. Of course, he's like <laughs> the players, but... With, with or without Zaha, Liverpool are always going to walk through that game um, with an easy win. But of course, I guess mentally it will have an effect on the rest of the team because they've lost out on their star forwards um, if they were going to have any hope of getting any goals. But yeah, it doesn't make much damn, No disrespect to Wilfred Zaha, absolute baller. But it doesn't make that much of a difference because what Liverpool did last night just shows why they're about to be a title win inside. That free kick as well from Alexander-Arnold. What was your reaction to that? <laughs> That's the that's the shit that you try and do on FIFA. That's absolute finesse, mate. That is a ten out of ten free kick. And I don't know how he seemed so composed after it. Like I know deep down inside he was gassed, but like he took it and was just like, yeah, that's what I do. It's normal. But uh, <laughs> absolute quality free kick there. Beautiful, mate. Gotta give it to Fabinho. Another good shot from him as well. Is that someone that you're expecting to see on the score sheet? Yeah, at this stage, I'm not. I, I'm. At this stage, I expect to see anyone. Anyone can get a goal from Liverpool. Centre-backs, set-pieces. I feel like they're all, you know, re ready to get their tallies up. And Fabinho's good in the midfield anyway. He's not someone you scream and shout about. But, yeah, I guess I wasn't expecting him on the score sheet. But it's someone that, you know, will be on there. Williams as well. He also made a debut for Liverpool around the 73rd minute. He had quite a few good shots as well. You know, is this a young talent, you know, that you're expecting to see a lot more from in the near future? Well, Liverpool haven't made any signings, have they? So I guess they're going to have to start rotating soon. People, players are going to start burning out, I reckon. Um, but like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They've got a great start in 11, but then they've got uh, young talent that can come on um, and do a job as well. And you know what I mean? Like Williams, I'm sure he'll get more minutes for the remainder of this season because, as you say, they could win, win the league tomorrow. So after that, they can just start messing around. Not messing around. I'm sure they'll still take it seriously and finish off strong. But other players um, that you don't normally see in start 11 can start getting a chance to just get in there. So hold tight, Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Liverpool as well, they're literally just points away from getting the title. But, you know, they're still composed. They, they're not getting complacent in any way. Their mindset is to still carry on working hard. Um, and to be better, how would you describe Jürgen Klopp as a manager? Great. I wanted him at one point. And when he's coming over to England, I wanted him to come to Arsenal. Um, but we, unfortunately, we didn't get him. And what he's done with that team, the way he's built that team up and rebuilt it, um, yeah, you've got to give him his, like you've got to give him a round of applause. He's won the Champions League with them. He's about to win the league and all of that in a space of short. Has it been four years? Three to four years? Mm. It hasn't been that long. Um, normally you, you say, oh, I'll give a manager three years and turn the whole thing around and then think, people think that's not possible. But Klopp has done it. Um, and it's not a one-off thing. Like I said, he's achieved things last season, about to achieve something massive this season for, for a club, for, for the Liverpool Football Club. This is a massive achievement because they've waited decades for a moment like this. And yeah, they're probably going to do their trophy parade on Zoom. <laughs> 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 but at least they're going to get a trophy. Do you know what I mean? At least they've come and done that. And are you personally ready to see them now crowned? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm not. Well done. Yeah, well done, Liverpool. <laughs> Charlie, what do you want me to do? Well done to Liverpool, innit? They deserve it. They do deserve <laughs> it. Um, they're, they're lucky that the season, you know, went back ahead because there were so many talks about whether they should be crowned or not because the season could be cancelled. Luckily for them, they've gone back out there. They can continue to play the remaining game and win the, win the title before the season's even done. So congratulations to them. 
I mean, with the form that they're on, even if the, this current season didn't resume, what do you think next season would have looked like for them? That's the thing I'm not sure about because, like I said, they haven't made much changes. I know they've got a great squad, um, but you always need to add something every year. Add something, you know, add a new dimension. But I don't know what it's going to look like afterwards. This could... I mean, they've reached their peak now. I don't think they'll go on and win it again for another season, but who knows? Who knows? So, based on the remaining fixtures, Liverpool only need two points to win the league, and that, that, that relies on Man City and all the other teams. But if it doesn't happen, their next fixture is next week against Man City, which will be a blockbuster event. I'm hoping that Man City actually win that game against Chelsea now, so that it can all... Well, they can still win it before that game, but I'm hoping that it can just come down to that game, Liverpool v Man City, the title-winning game, because um, unfortunately for Liverpool, they didn't get to win it um, at Goodison Park, which have been written in the stars for them. But yeah, the next big game for Liverpool is against Man City next week. Who's excited about Liverpool winning the league? I mean, everyone, everyone was kind of excited that they wasn't going to do it and the season was going to get cancelled. But they're back. They're in full swing. They're definitely going to win the league. What are your thoughts on that? Let us know in the comments down below.